evening everybody and welcome to do something every day this is part of the diary to my kids and tonight is part three of uh, developing new loads for my 308 and 270 tonight we are going to be uh, measuring the case length for each of the cases okay so let's get started okay so step one of the process that i usually follow is I'm just going to take a permanent marker and I'm going to start numbering all of my cases. It's just going to make management of the actual uh, measuring a lot easier. So, one. Okay, so that's all the 270 cases marked. Now I'm going to start doing the exact same for the 308s. There you have it, now the 308 is also done and marked. <clears throat> so in total, I've got 50 cases of 308 and 44 cases of 270 that I'm going to be loading. Okay, so next steps was going to be, we need to measure these cases. So just to show you some of the stuff that I have here. I've got the, uh, let me just un loosen this up a little bit. So yeah, I've got the veneer and then I've got attachments that will assist me in measuring the actual cases. So what this is, is it's a little something that I modified. I added in a uh, mandrel guide in here just to fit the 270 casing. So when I put it on, I measure the same spot on the veneer every time. So let's add this onto the veneer. Uh, I'm zero it quickly with this attached. Come on. Zero. Okay, so it's zero. Now when I attach it, I'm just gonna use this to space it. You don't have to do the, all this, this is just for my own way of doing things. I get this in. Measure it down, tighten it down, sorry. There we go. It's 921, so this little bit over here is 921 in length. So if I put this in, you'll see the actual case goes up to against this aluminium base over here. And then I just line it up over here on the back. Then I get the actual length of the casing. 
uh, what I'm going to do is just move it around a little bit. Measure everything so I get a 6448. 6448. Just going to take it off. Check it again. Excuse me again. 6448 to. There we go. 6448. Now I'm going to write down that link. For casing number one, let's see. Casing number one. Length is uh, 6448. And now I'm going to do that for all the remaining ones. So casing number two. Six four four seven. Six four four two. And so on. So I'm going to fast forward the video over here with the clip. So you don't have to sit through this boring space of just measuring cases. Okay, so that is all the 270 casings measured. See, I got lazy, I'm not writing the full length, just a last bit. So now the next step is gonna be, I need to do the same for the 308 casings. Okay, so next, 308 casings. Okay, now that I'm going to have to quickly change out the guide that I have for the 270 into the 308 guide. Uh, before measuring 308 casings, I can just as well quickly show you my modifications that I've made to this. So what I've done is I drilled three holes in here, tapped the holes and put grub screws in there just to hold this uh, uh, casing guide in place while measuring. So now I'm just going to quickly unscrew these uh, grub screws and put the 308 guide in here. Go, 270 is out. Just need to get my 308 guide. Okay, so here I've got my 308 guide, just to check it, perfect. So now I'm just going to quickly put it in here, and tighten the garb screws back up. There we go. Snug that back in there. 
Titan back up. Check it. Uh, I think because I moved this, I now need to just re zero it. Make sure this is all flush. Tighten down. And oh, there we go, that's a lot better. Zero. This back in place, get a casing. See where is number one, number one, so yeah. Bring that into position, so tighten it down. There we go, perfect. Let's start measuring the cases. That shows a 953 as the length of this guide from there all the way to the tip here. And that slides past nicely, sits there. Now I've got a 5118. That's a 5118. And again, I'm going to fast forward through all this measuring so you don't have to sit through it, the boring bits. Okay, so that is all the 308 casings also measured and now it's time for the next steps so that is to start trimming all these cases to a specific length or to as close to that length as I can possibly get it so the first steps is I'll be using this trimmer for I think can't remember the exact name for this trimmer. I bought it at a uh, at the Antex gun show here in South Africa. It's for a 306 caliber, but the 306 and 270 is basically the same casing. The uh, 270 is just a uh, smaller neck diameter than the uh, 306, but the rest of the casing is the same. So it still fits in for the trimming of the case. How it works is you basically connect it onto your drill, it spins, it's got the bearing in front and inside, not sure if you're going to be able to see it, there is a milling bit that then trims the casing to your specific length and you'll see here it actually stops it on the shoulder of the case. And you can adjust this milling bit that's on the air by using these two grub screws. To loosen that you can just the depth it actually needs to go to or the length it needs to trim to and for the 308 casings I'll be using this uh, reading case trimmer I'll also just adjust that uh, using this to get it to the specific length that I needed to continue I think I'm going to cut the video short here, it's getting a little bit long, the next video will be where I do the actual case trimming, thanks for watching.